28 points to 3 points. 2-12 left, man. We done all seen this screenshot. We, we, we know what happened. Tom Brady to James White for the first touchdown. And they go to overtime. And Tom Brady to James White for the second touchdown. And the last touchdown to him of the game. Man, it's crazy. That 34-28 to comeback is what really made Tom Brady to go, in my opinion. But let's look at some of these screenshots real quick, man. Five-point vids literally made a vid 28 minutes and three seconds long about the game. 28-3 to from the Falcons' perspective. Shout out to that dude. He did his thing on that video. But next season, as we can see, they beat the Rams, yeah. But then they lost to the Super Bowl winning champion that year, the Philadelphia Eagles. So I'm not saying the Falcons are bad or nothing, but... Hey, man, they have some bad luck. They, they, they straight up got some bad luck, man. But it's all right, though. Because as you can see, 2018, we got 2019 coming up right here, too. And also, 2020, they not really doing too much. So what we finna do right here is rebuild them. Because you know why? The Falcons got some fire unis. And we need to bring them back to where we need them to be. And as you guys know, last season, Tom Brady went to Tampa Bay, Tampa Bay. And Julio Jones dipped the set for Tennessee. So we're going to have to deal with that this season. But don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I hope y'all enjoy this. So first things first right here. Let's give this roster a nice little run through right here. We got Grady Jarrett, the number one dude right here. I'm going to really change around this defense number one. That's the first thing I'm going to do. Grady Jarrett, defensive lineman, Calvin Ridley, Deion Jones, and Matt Ryan. We also got a rookie. Kyle Pitts, you know, we got some good guys coming up. And also got some good linemen right here too, Charles Lindstrom and Jake Matthews. I do like the team, but <clears throat> if I'm being honest, we need to add some defensive players to this team. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna make some signings right now and add a few more guys to this team on the defensive side because look at our overall, 76, that is abysmal. That's disgusting. So I need to change that. Let me go do that. And I'm gonna tell you who I signed in a minute. So the first signing I made right here was Grant Coley, a four-year vet from Ohio State. He really fits our scheme really well with the man-to-man -man defense. Six foot 190, 91 speed. His tackle's not really there, but his man coverage, it's okay. Zone, it's, it's down there, but he has some good jump. Press is okay. The acceleration's good. The speed's good. Hopefully, he can make an impact on the team. We'll see what he can do. It's only a one-year deal, so hey, who knows what's gonna happen. The next signing we made is a practice squad player from the Jets, Ronald Blair III. Um, power rusher, another four-year vet, Appalachian State, 6'4", 270. Um, he's probably gonna start at the right end for a little bit. I don't know if he's gonna pass rush though. He's probably gonna be more of like a run-fit player that we're gonna have at the three-tech, the three-eye, maybe. But um, he has some good stats on the inside. You know, not good, but decent stats. 75 power move, 76 speed. So he could rush off the edge if need be, but 85 strength though and 81 tackle. I do love his pursuit though, that, that it's an 81. So he could definitely get some outside um, stretch plays if need be. And also uh, the hit power is also an 81. You know, you love to see defensive players that can hit hard. You need that. And the last player we signed here was, um, I can't pronounce the last name, I think it's Kiki QT, um, Texas Tech three year vet, 5'11, 187. I really thought we could build on this guy. I, th we, I saw Philip Dorsett in the options for our free agents, but I wasn't really looking for, you know, 93 speed, you know, this and that somewhere. You know, I wanted to build on someone so that we can, you know, bring up for the next few years. And Kiki might be that type of guy to be the number two receiver too. Because, you know, we have a lot of great players on our team, a lot of good receivers, Calvin Ridley, Russell Gage, and can't forget the dual threat. No, I did not. Cordell Patterson. We will do a lot with Cordell Patterson in this franchise. I hope we can keep him around, but I hope to do a lot with Cordell Patterson in this offense and in this franchise. So I have not forgotten about him too. So we signed a few players now. I do love what we're doing, but if I'm being honest, as I jump out of where I need to be, I do feel like in Madden terms, we should make some trades because there's realistically, I do like Lee Smith. He's a good player. He, I think he's the, he might be the long snapper for the team. I don't know. Um, but he looks like he has some good catching stats too. But I'm not going to trade him. I'm actually looking to trade Hayden Hurst right here. Because if we can get a trade for Hayden Hurst, he's a great tight end. 
he can make another team an, an amazing passing option. I'm going to add him to the trade block, see what we can get from him. But I'm also going to look through some teams to see if they need a tight end. He's going to be one of the guys that we're going to trade. I'm also looking to trade Mike Pinnell or um, our other option, um, Ty Tyler Davison. It is what it is. Either one we do trade. I'm looking to trade a D tackle. Hopefully Mike Pinnell more because of the age. And, you know, we could build off of uh, Tyler Davison, but Mike Pinnell is 77. He has a five plus overall boost compared to Davison. So I'm cool with whoever gets traded. Um, I'm definitely looking to get rid of Steven Means for, for a fact. He's 30 years of age, 68 overall. We should definitely be bringing in. Yeah, he doesn't even fit our scheme. What is he? He's a power rusher. I mean, he's a speed rusher. He's a, this guy is going to be a great power rusher. He's going to be way better than this dude. So I feel like we just need to get him some reps ASAP. And also the last person I'm looking to trade is Eric Harris. Um, he's a great, I'm not going to lie, he's a great safety, but he's old. And I want to get Richie Grant his um his reps in now so we can start building up our defense for the next season as we start drafting in some players. Um, we also got a few guys we got to re-sign, so let's go talk about that, but those are the dudes we're going to be looking to trade Well, for the upcoming weeks, looking into the trade deadline, Hayden Hurst, the D-tackle, um, Steven Means, and Eric Harris. So I'm looking to give, um, Foya said, a five-year deal. I do like his play style, and we're going to keep him around for a long time with a middle linebacker. I, why am I blanking on it? I'm, I'm, why am I blanking on it? I'm pretty sure it's Deion Jones. But if, if I'm not, it is what it is. But I'm pretty sure it is Deion Jones. Next person I'm looking to re-sign is Russell Gage. He's a young receiver, and I do like his play style too. He says he wants to make more money. We'll, we'll submit that next week. And the last person I do want to re-sign is our kicker. I, I love Young Hoku. He's just he's such a reliable weapon, and honestly, I want to give him an extra year and a little bit more because I do want to keep him around. I, I think he can be one of the honestly, I think he can honestly be one of the top three kickers in the league in the next five to ten years. We have, I think, a weekly message we have to do. Yeah, prospect spotlight, and then we'll we'll, we'll choose. The, I'm just gonna do the regular draft class that's coming up next season so i'll we'll take a look at that but let's do this gm meeting and see what we got all right so it looks like they're talking about a deeper look at a d tackle he stands out from other guys um it's not that i don't want to look at him we kind of already have the d tackle spot filled but it is what it is um definitely gonna give my guys a rest after the win against the jets last week um i feel like Extra preparation would help, but I want the team around to go up for us to play better. We're going to practice hard going into the next week. Um, who's our part? The Dolphins. Yeah, we're playing away at the Dolphins, so we we'll have to focus on that. Um, I'm going to put the draft class in real quick and then just, you know, sims the next week. So we ended up getting Russell Gage under a four-year contract, a longer-term deal. I like it. He's 25. We can definitely build him into what we need him to be with Calvin Ridley. But now we're on to week seven right here. We're not even going to worry about none of these trades, none, nothing like that right now. We do have a few trade offers to look at, but let's look at some of the potential um, college prospects we got to scout through. Because if I'm being honest, the main problem on our team is definitely our offense. And it's looking like Matt Ryan is not going to be our quarterback going into next season. I've always had an appreciation for Matt Ryan. I think he's honestly one of the one of my top 15 to 20 quarterbacks I've ever seen play, but he's just not the player he used to be. So we're going to be looking at quarterbacks to take in um, the first few upcoming rounds. And that's why we're looking also to trade a few guys too. Um, we unfortunately also can't change our scouts because we started after week one, but there's some specialties at running back that we could take, maybe um, some defensive players, even an old line scout, which I really don't want. Um, but it is what it is because we're we're really gonna need to draft the quarterback early in the rounds to see what we got. We do have Josh Rosen on the bench, but that's not looking like the solution for our future right now. Um, 
it, yeah, honestly, I feel really bad. But Matt, let's see what we can do this season with Matt Ryan because if it does end up going well, we could just still draft the quarterback and let him, you know, figure out his ways on the bench, like, you know, what they did with Patrick Mahomes and then let him start eventually. But we have a GM meeting right here, so let's hop right into it and see what we got. I don't know what this dude wants. Come on. Hey, oh, so he says he wants to improve um, our roster. And I know if he's going to say offense, it's not going to be a, a good offense player that we actually need. So I'm going to say defense to see what we could probably get on the defense. Some depth. Um, we don't really need another corner. A left end would be good. Oh, I mean, another receiver wouldn't, wouldn't hurt. It wouldn't hurt. But I don't want either one of these either. But I'll take Golden Tate because they're forcing me to take it. I, I don't want to sign him. Yeah. I, we have already got Kiki QT. Um, I'm okay with not signing Golden Tate. I want to build Kiki into the receiver that we need him to be. Um, so, man, let's first see these trade offers first. We got some for Hayden Hurst right here. Um, one or few. I don't If it's some bummy, yeah, I don't want no bummy draft picks for him. Let's go cycle through some trades real quick for Hayden Hurst, see what we can get for him. Then we'll do the weekly strategy for the Dolphins and hop right into the game, baby. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. We end up getting Eric McCoy and a nice little rookie Ruiz, a one year um one year player from the saints we end up giving up josh rosen for it and um malik walker and hayden hurst i'm not mad about it we have a lot of middle linebackers josh rosen probably isn't the answer for us because we have matt ryan right now who if he doesn't if he ends up digressing he'll still be a great backup quarterback because i'm not gonna let him go he's getting paid so much but we ended up getting two great linemen from that and we didn't have to give up pretty much anything from us so we just beefed up our o-line pretty well right here um you'd love to see it let's see if we can get another trade for maybe harris and a left outside linebacker steven means and then we'll hop into the weekly strategy and then the game nobody wanted them nobody oh god no so with the dolphins if i'm being honest their defense is what's going to take them to this w right here They've got two all-pro corners in Byron Jones and Xavier Howard. Also got a sleeper tight end in Mike Gusecki. Really good. He can really get some separation on his routes. Um, two, all, not two great receivers in uh, Will Fuller. But he's also hurt this game, it looks like. A torn tricep and uh, De Devontae Parker. But with Tua Tungabailoa being out <clears throat> in this game and Jacoby Brissett getting the start, this is a game that we really have to just snatch up and grab. So I hope that we can really go in there, do what we can do, away at the Hard Rock Stadium in Miami and get this W, boys. Let's hop right into the gameplay. No more playing around. Let's get it, boys. We here, they not. So they got their man man out here, Jacoby Brissett to start off their drive. He's gonna try to slow us down, so let's see what he's got. All right guys, first play right here. Definition of a trap game again. We gotta stay in our zone. We end up letting up a nice little, ooh, hitch route. You hate to see it, 19 yards on that. We gotta clamp down. Jacoby Brissett can't make any more passes like that. Come on, D. Now with this Falcons team, I'm really not expecting too much from us um, this season. I kind of hope we can go even and, you know, do what we can do. But whatever happens does happen. Um, this team is not exactly what they used to be. But we could definitely get some good pieces and good play out of this defense and offense for sure. Third and one. Can we do what we got to do? And we get the fourth? Yes, we do. Let's go. We can get a three-point on here. Let's go. Looks like they're going for it on this drive right here. Oh, we get the stop, boys. Fourth down turnover on downs, baby. We got our main man, our main man, Matt Ryan coming out right here, the captain to lead us down and hopefully to get us a good touchdown right here. Some good stats on the season. Hopefully he can keep it up. Let's see what he's got, boys. Come on. 
first play right here, guys. Let's see what we can do against this Philly. I'm swam I saying Philly, Miami defense, eight yard gain. Let's go, boys. What we need. Second and two right here. Let's go with a nice little inside zone with Cordell Patterson. Let's go. He's getting his yards right there. You know he's that athlete on the team out the backfield from the catches out the slot. He's doing it all, boys. First down, baby. First and 10 on the 45. Matt Ryan drops back to throw. I really don't see too many people open, but I see Mike Davis open on the wheel route. A beautiful catch right there. Almost, almost about 25 yards right there. Great catch, 29 yards. Beautiful throw and catch. Matt Ryan to Mike Davis. First down. We're inside the 20, boys. Let's see what we got. Come on. Second and seven right here, guys. Can we get a touchdown with Kyle Pitts? Oh, we threw it high, but it wasn't well enough. Incomplete. Third and seven. Come on. We need to convert on these downs. Ooh, I see a big boy open. Calvin Ridley. Tony toe tap with the catch first and goal. Let's see if we can pick a play right here to get us some separation. Oh, Cordell Patterson in the backfield. Hopefully someone is going to get open on this throw and catch. Let's see what we got. We throw the slant to Russell Gage Jr. for the touchdown. Six to zero, boys. Come on. We up at Miami. Let's get it, boys. Second and four right here. Might be a stick route. It's looking. Oh, they're throwing it deep. Can we make a play on it right here? Good SWAT Conley, that's what we need. Let's go third and four right here. Following that running back out the backfield. He slips right away from us, but we get the sack. Who got it? I can't even pronounce his name. I think it's Alex is his first name, but we get the sack, boys. Let's go fourth and 15, be here. I still can't pronounce that dude's name correctly. I think his name is Aden Tinko. I didn't Kundo. I, I really can't pronounce his name correctly, but we're going to continue on with this game. Mike Davis with a seven yard carry. Let's keep it. Second and three right here. We're just going to keep moving the chains on with Mike Davis and Cordell Patterson. The dual threats out the backfield. Let's go. Third and inches. There could be some good pop on this play right here. We see Calvin Ridley busting it down the seam. He's open the 20, the 10, the touchdown. He's in there, boys. 14 to 0. He's selling with his team. Let's go, guys. Definition of a trap game right here. And we're doing exactly what we're doing. Dominating the Miami Dolphins without Tua Tunga Vailoa. This is perfect. We're doing exactly what we got to do. Offense showing up. Defense showing up. Let's hop right into that defensive drive, boys. Let's stop that. Oh, come on. Let's go. Second and nine right here, boys. Can we get the stop? Oh, Mike Aseki. We leave him open down the seam. That's no good. Oh, my goodness, boys. That's bad defense on me. We got to control that middle linebacker better. Great read by Jacoby Brissett right there to give him the first down. Come on, boys. Second and 11. Can we get a stop? We really need a stop right here. They throw it to the flat. To their backup tight end, a seven yard gain. That's gonna be the end of the first quarter right here. We're gonna hop into the second on the third and four. Let's go. Come on, third and four right here. Can we get a stop to redeem our team and our defense? We leave both the guys open on the sideline. No, they convert. That's not good. We are watching that outside. Oh, illegal touching. Please be illegal touching. Please be illegal touching. Let's go, guys. We here. Come on. We're patrolling. We're patrolling. Harmon's over the middle. Let's go. We get a sack. Another one by Eden Kundo. Let's go. Let's go. Third and 22. What are we going to do to get the stop? Another chance. A good swat by our safety. It looks like a corner. Fourth down. <sighs> They're throwing it up in the air. We stopping it, boys. Come on. Now let's see if we can block the kick right here. We can't. They put it in between the goalposts, 14 to three. We still up though. Let's see what we can do right here. Second and 10 after the no gainer. Ooh we. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, Matt Ryan still got it. Matt Ryan, I'm not gonna lie. His arm still has got it. He's moving the ball pretty well. Good throw and catch by him to Russell Gage. Let's get it first down the play. First and 10 right here, boys. Nice little drive play. Let's see what we can do right here. Might see Cordell Patterson open down. You know I'm looking for him all the time. He's the, mm, man. 
He's just doing amazing this year. He's a great athlete. Another great catch by him. Another great run. Another great throw by Matt Ryan. Let's go first down, boys. We here. Third and three right here, boys. What do we got? Oh, man. This is not good. We're going to have to kick the field goal right here. It is what it is. Let's go, boys. Kick is up. It's good. 17-3. 14 point lead. Exactly where we started before. We here. They not. So, yeah. Shank the kick. They're gonna be on the 35. Come on, second and three right here. It's a pass play. Something's coming over the middle. Ah, uh, but we're completely out of the play. This is not good. Devontae Parker, great catch and throw by Jacoby Brissett to Devontae Parker to move him up into the red zone on their own 14. Come on, guys, we gotta get a stop. First and 10, what do we got for this Miami offense? I thought everyone was covered, but I guess not. What can we do right here, boys? We need a stop. We need a stop. It's a pass play. They throw it to Mike Gusecki, and it's a touchdown for the Miami Dolphins. This is not what you want to see. 17 to nine, they're still down. But oh man, this is not good for us, come on. Chance to run this back right here with Cordell Patterson. You know he's got the kick return skills. We get it to the 23 though, not that much, but it's still a good game for us. First and 10 right here, guys, come on. 17 to 10, we're on our own 23. Can we come back after the shoddy performance in the last drive? Russell Gates with an amazing catch right there. 12, no, not 19 yard gain right there. Perfect, just what we needed. Second and nine, boys. We need something good that's gonna work for us. Oh, we should just run this. Oh, I didn't even wanna run this, Matt Ryan. That is unrealistic. I'm never gonna run with Matt Ryan, but we ended up taking it out 12 yards. Good enough for us, first down. First and 10, boys. We need a good stop right here. I see Cordell Patterson on the flat. Can he get going? We get him out of bounds. A good 20 yard gain. That's just what we need, boys. Moving the chain. Another chance right here for us to keep moving the chains up and up. Oh, we're already down. Oh my goodness. Wow. And we're into the two minute warning. Hoo wee. Last chance right here, guys. Third and 17. 17 to 10. We need to convert on downs. Russell Gage is open, and he gets the first down on the six, guys. Let's freaking go. 22-yard gain on the play. Ah, I'm ecstatic right now, boys. 144, I'm turned up. Let's go. Another great catch, another great throw. Matt Ryan to Russell Gage Jr., boys. Let's go. Four, three, two. Let's see what we can do, boys. I see backside Calvin Ridley, he's open. Let's go, 23 to 10 right there. Calvin Ridley showing up right now, showing why he's the number one receiver on this team. Julio Jones left the team in the offseason, as we talked about before, but a great, amazing catch right there by Calvin Ridley doing his thing, boys. Let's get it. We on to the field goal, but you already know we're gonna make it. Let's hop to the second half. And I think we missed. Spoke too soon, definitely spoke too soon. And now we're on to the second half right here, third quarter. And no blocking yet again. <laughs> we get it to the 19. This is what it is, though. We're up 23 to 10. Let's go. Good little play action play right here. We might have just got burnt deep for this play. And we did. Jalen Waddle with a great catch right there. Great throw by Jacoby Brissett. Oh, my goodness. Third and 16 right here, boys. Let's see what we could do. Come on. We really, really badly need a stop against this Miami all Dolphins offense. We get another sack. Let's go, Dante Fowler Jr. You'll love to see it. We've sacked this team about three times, four times now. I didn't forgot to record one, but oh my goodness. Oh, we're just getting after this team. Crazy right now. We are literally running the same play again. I don't care if they're stacking the box crazy. I'm gonna go for it because I'm crazy. I do not care. Let's see what we can do against this Miami defense. Come on, boys. And that's a conversion on downs. We get a block right there. Nice little stiff arm. Kyle Pitts gets his yardage. Let's go, boys. First down. Let's go. After the conversion on fourth down right here, we're just gonna chew clock, keep moving that ball forward. Hopefully we can find the team to get the ball running, but we can't right now. Another chance right here to prove ourselves. Come on. We might just throw a pick, yep. That was on us. Come on, third and 18 right here, boys. What do we got for this team? 
I see someone going down the seam. We got another backside play, and it's out of their hands. Devontae Parker, a punt on the play. First and 10, boys. What do we've got for this team? I'm trying to run a play action, and Calvin really reads it perfectly. A great catch by Calvin Ridley. Great throw by Matt Ryan. Let's go. Keep moving the chains. We up on. Let's go. First and 10 right here. 14 seconds left in the first. We throw it to the flat over the middle. Russell Gage, the third. We re-signed him. Four-year deal. I'm telling you guys, he's going to be a real threat for us on this offense. If Matt Ryan or whoever our quarterback is going forward continues to put the ball right in the same spots. End of the third quarter, boys. Let's hop into the fourth. This has been a long episode. I'm sorry about it. But if you've enjoyed so far, please don't forget to like, comment, share, subscribe. I really appreciate that. Check out the descriptions. All of my socials in there. Let's hop right back into the game. I kind of want to test it with Young Ho, so let's see what we can do. 55-yard field goal right here from Young Ho Ku. Let's see what we can do. We aim it to the left. We put it in max power. Can he get it? It's just too short. Oh, man. Oh, man. We'll give it to the kid again, but that was a great attempt right there from us. Let's go. Come on. We need a stop again. Another one to show him that we're serious right here. Can we do just that? Third and goal. We bring them back a yard. Let's go defense. Another chance, boys. They go for it. They're going for it. They switch receivers. They switching it up. Come on. Let's go. I think it's a false start right there. Please. Moving them back, boys. Let's get it. Guys, this is the chance right here. Fourth and goal on the seven. 452 left on the time. Mike Gusecki's open. Oh, for the middle. But we use her pick it with Tyrell Jr. right there, boys. Let's get it in the corner of the end zone. We get the ball on the turnover on downs. Beautiful play right there. Let's go. Just what we needed. Whew. This game is pretty much wrapped up. So we're going to run through this play right here. We call a slip screen. And I thought Cordell Patterson was through, but it bounces off the lineman right into the D tackle's hands. And they pick it. So this game is not over. We're back into it on defense. Let's go, boys. Come on. One more chance right here. Third and goal. 2-10 left on the clock right here. Back of the end zone. He makes an amazing catch. Devontae Parker. Or is that Jalen Waddle? Oh, Devontae Parker with an amazing catch right there. I can't blame him. He does his thing. Oh my goodness, what an amazing throw by Jacoby Brissett. What an amazing catch by Devontae Parker. 23 to 16 right here. Third and 10 right here after throwing the ball twice. We're gonna throw it again, cause why not? We see Cordell Patterson out of the flat and they might call a timeout, but it doesn't matter cause I'm gonna go for it. Right here, boys. Four and three. Can we convert on the downs easily? We simply do that every single time, boys. Timeout. It's game over. Let's get it. I overall thought we played an amazing game. Matt Ryan, he did his thing. Both of those interceptions were on me. With the screen that hit the, um, the lineman, went back to the Dolphins. It happens. And the one to the middle linebacker, I didn't read that correctly. I was too eager to throw the ball. He played an amazing game. He was able to run the ball out, pinpoint each of his passes. And honestly, Matt Ryan is definitely going to be starting quarterback for the rest of the season, maybe even going into next season. Honestly, it's looking like a 90% for next season too, as long as we can get somebody to succeed him for the years following. When it comes to the rushing attack, I thought that Mike Davis did okay and Cordell Patterson. I love the 2-1-1-2 two, one, one, two punch that they had going on. It worked out well for both of them. Mike Davis, I want to get him some better carries, some better rushes, because I didn't like his production today. Only 2.0 average, and I gave him more carries. I don't want to see that. But Cordell Patterson did his thing. Nine rushes for 49 yards. And it could be the type of plays that I'm calling for each of them, but I feel like Mike Davis definitely had he had more chances to get going, and he simply just didn't do that. With receiving, Russell Gage Jr. and Calvin Ridley stole the show today with amazing catches from both of them. And also, Cordell Patterson again. 
This dude is, is an athlete on the field. He does it all. Kyle Pitts too with some, with some amazing catches that dig route he ran over the field. I think it was in the second quarter. It was a great catch. We really needed that conversion. It was great from us. But he had two drops though, which I don't want to see. We need to get his hands going. One sack given up, it is what it is. But we had an um, we had a field day with their line. We had was four, five, we had six sacks one interception we did what we had to do some great tackles for losses a lot of tackles for losses a lot of guys you know willing to make that play grady jarrett did doing his thing honestly two tackles for losses five tackles he didn't get a sack but it is what it is i'm not expecting him to get sacks and ronald blair you know and you see i can't pronounce that if anyone can s let me know in the comments how to pronounce that i'd really appreciate that adentinto kumbu I didn't tell, I, oh, I can't, I can't, I'm not going to butcher the name, I'm not doing it, I just can't, but he's a rookie, he did well for us today, Taquan Graham also did well for us too, got a sack, and Dante Fowler, um, Young Hoku only missed a field goal and an extra point, it is what it is, we had to test his leg to see how good it is, but we stopped their team, we did exactly what we had to do, and let's hop back in to the main menu. Honestly guys, that is such a great win to start out the series right here. You know, it was very hard not being able to play Madden because of the scouting update that took a long time to come out, but it's okay because now we're here. We're starting the series back up. We started off the win against the Miami Dolphins, and next week we've got our division rivals home, the Carolina Panthers. Let's get it. They're four and two, but that could change after we send the week. Let's see what we got right here. What's their record going into week seven, boys? As we're three and two, three at three and three, they're five and two. Second only to Tampa Bay Buccaneers, baby. So there's a mock draft coming out. We've also got a breakout player, some players to renegotiate, and you know, just some weekly strategy stuff to do. But honestly, um, you know, oh, man, I'm, I'm having a lot of fun right now with um, rebooting this series. We're, we're doing our thing. And honestly, I don't think that, I honestly think that we can make a little playoff run to in this division. I know, a little crazy, right? But I definitely think that we're able to make a playoff run. Hopefully, we can get a win next week against the Carolina Panthers. So expect um, Madden videos to be dropping every week. I try, I'm going to try to drop at least two, if not one, at least, at least one every week. So you guys can have that. Guys, we got to win against the Miami Dolphins. We're 1-0 in this series right now, but we're 3-3 going into week eight, home against the Carolina Panthers. Boys, this is great. We here, they not. Let's, oh, man, it's great, man. Please don't forget to drop a like, comment, and share this video with a friend who you think might like an Atlanta Falcons Madden franchise series. And hey, if you liked it, drop a like too. You never know, and subscribe if you haven't. So you already know, we throwing up the O. It's something no donuts. Have a nice day. Do y'all thing. Be safe, y'all. Peace.